Good morning, All Saints. Today is Thursday, April 9th, and it is Holy Thursday. Today we commemorate the symbolic and significant moment when Jesus washed his disciples' feet, and we also remember the Last Supper of Jesus with his apostles before his death in Calvary. Please join me in our morning prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. During supper, Jesus knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet, and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know now what I am doing but later you will understand. Peter said to him, you will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, one who has bathed does not need to wash except for the feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you, for he knew who was to betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet, put on his robe, and returned to the table, Jesus said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example, that you also should do as I have done to you. It was a beautiful image of the deepest humility ever witnessed. Jesus, the eternal Son of God, was performing the duty of a servant. One by one, Jesus went around and cleansed the feet of his disciples. Peter was overwhelmed by Jesus' humility and at first refused to have his Lord wash his feet. But Jesus says something that rings true for all eternity. Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. This was no ordinary washing. It was not in reference only to the washing of Peter's dirty feet. It was an eternal washing of his soul. And the water would soon flow forth from the pierced and sacred heart of Jesus himself. Less than 24 hours later, Jesus would be on a cross, and a Roman soldier would pierce his heart with a lance. From his heart would flow blood and water, the new font of grace and mercy itself. It takes great humility to accept the humblest act of mercy ever known. We must humbly acknowledge that we need our Lord to cleanse us, to wipe the dirt from our souls, to redeem us, and to offer us the inheritance of everlasting life. It is at that Last Supper, the beginning of the first triduum of Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter Sunday, that our Lord gazes through Peter to each one of us and offers to cleanse us all of sin. Reflect this day upon those sacred words of our Lord and hear them spoken to you. Unless I wash you, you will have no share with me. Let us pray. My merciful Lord, your humility is awe-inspiring and overwhelming. Please wash me clean, as you did for the apostles. Help me to receive this gift in the way it was given, with humility. I need your cleansing action in my life. Amen. All saints, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.